Welcome back, community. It's time for another Shep Reacts, where we take an AI documentary, something that we've created, and turned it into a reaction video. And this time around, it is Time Travel Theories, Experiments, and Fictional Journeys. This was an idea that I came up with because um, I'm always fascinated with time travel, and I had a lot of questions in regards to uh, the theory of time travel and all the different types of shows that are out there, like changing history, um, alternate uh, timelines, and you know, if you go to the future, will you learn about your future self, or have you just created a new future because? For whatever time you traveled into the future, you were missing that whole time. And then if you go back to the past, you know, you kind of continue the timeline that you left. So there would be like two timelines or something. You know, it's it's things like that. You know, or there's the Bill and Ted uh, <laughs> excellent adventure uh, time travel where you're just kind of like, you know, I would really like it if I had a soda right around that corner, you know, and you walk around the corner and, oh, there it is, <laughs> because you, you went back and uh, and put it there. <laughs> yeah, you know, when it comes to time travel, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is probably like the best one. <laughs> Not the most realistic, but man, it was, it, it was fun. Uh, next to Back to the Future, of course course man back to the future trilogy that's like the the high point of time travel but anyways let's get to the video have you ever pondered the possibility of stepping back into the past or launching yourself into the future yep time travel a concept that has tantalized and mystified us for centuries is more than a mere figment of science fiction it's an enigma that has sparked curiosity and inspired countless explorations in the realms of literature, cinema, and even scientific research. Okay, so that's a really interesting uh, time machine, if that's what's going on there. I mean, take a look at that. I mean, maybe they're creating a time portal. That's an interesting idea, uh, creating a time portal that you go through. Except, you know, how do you come back? Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's like Sliders, the TV show Sliders you have a timer that opens up a portal you go through and you're there for a certain amount of time and then you're pulled back that's a possibility yeah it's another idea for a uh, ai movie trailer perhaps kind of some fun possibilities with that one research from the time-bending adventures of hg wells protagonist in the time machine to the temporal escapades of Doc Brown and Marty McFly in the Back to the Future trilogy, <laughs> the concept of time travel has been a persistent motif in popular culture. Oh man, that totally looks like the 12th Doctor's intro from Doctor Who. He's like my favorite Doctor. Peter Capaldi. Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, no, I know that's a little different with uh, the clocks and stuff, although um, I think I've seen some fan uh, videos of the uh, of the uh, what, what the 12th Doctor's intro would look like. And as a matter of fact, the uh, the intro uh, the intro credits for the 12th Doctor is actually inspired by a fan uh, video. So I thought that was really cool. It's a theme that captivates us, inviting us to ponder the tantalizing question, can we truly journey through time? Yet make no mistake, time travel isn't just the stuff of fiction. The idea has also fascinated some of the greatest minds in science. Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and many others have proposed theories, some suggesting that time travel might not only be possible, but could be within our grasp. But how, you may ask? Well, that's precisely what we're going to explore. In this journey, we'll delve into the captivating world of time travel theories. That's kind of cool looking. <laughs> it made me think of No Man's Sky when you're warping and stuff, but that's kind of a cool look. From Einstein's theory of relativity to Hawking's chronology protection conjecture, we'll explore the riveting realms of quantum mechanics and its many worlds interpretation. I'm not we'll sure what that with is. We'll grapple the paradoxes and possibilities that these theories present. And along the way, we'll question the very nature of time itself. 
But what if you could travel to the future, see how your life turns out? Would you find the answers you seek, or would history show that you went missing for all those years? Yeah, there we it's go. It's a question that both excites and terrifies, isn't it? And what kinds of devices could be used for such temporal voyages? Could we perhaps build a machine like the DeLorean from Back to the Future, or would it require something far more complex and unknown? So buckle up as we journey through the wormhole of time travel theories. It's going to be a ride through time and space that you won't want to miss. Our first stop is the early 20th century with one of the greatest minds in history, Albert Einstein. Einstein's special theory of relativity, published in 1905, introduced a new framework for all of physics and proposed new concepts of space and time. He suggested that time and space, instead of being independent entities, are interwoven into a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. But the story doesn't end there. Ten years later, Einstein extended his ideas to include the effect of gravity. This became his general theory of relativity. In this theory, he proposed that massive objects cause a distortion in space-time, somewhat like a heavy ball placed on a stretched rubber sheet. That's this distortion interesting looking. is what we perceive as gravity. So where does time travel <clears throat> fit into all this? Well, according to Einstein's theories, the stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This idea has been tested and proven with highly accurate atomic clocks. When one clock is placed at a higher altitude, where gravity is weaker, it ticks faster than one at ground level. Now imagine a tremendously massive object with a strong gravitational pull. It could theoretically bend space-time so drastically that paths could be twisted into loops, turning the future into the past. This concept, known as a wormhole, is one of the most popular mechanisms for potential time travel. However, it's important to remember that these are just theories. While mathematically plausible, creating a stable wormhole for human travel remains a challenge. They're like totally arguing there over the uh, chalkboard. It's like, no, this is what it is. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me show you. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. This, 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 right here. This is how it is. It would require a form of matter with negative energy density, which has yet to be discovered. Despite these challenges, Einstein's theories have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. They've given us a foundation to explore the intriguing and often mind-bending possibilities of time travel. His work has inspired countless scientists to dive deeper into the mysteries of the universe, to question the nature of time itself, and to dream of the fascinating potential of time travel. Is it me or did that voice kind of change, like the quality of it? It sounds like it's in a hollow, uh, some kind of like hollow, hollow sound or something, you know, like, uh, like the mic is covered and, and uh, this is what it sounds like. Uh, Einstein's theories revolutionized our understanding of the universe, paving the way for further exploration into the realm of time travel. Fast forward to the late 20th century, and we encounter another brilliant mind, Stephen Hawking. Known for his groundbreaking work on black holes, Hawking also made significant contributions to our understanding of time travel. One of these contributions is the chronology protection conjecture. This theory, formulated by Hawking in the early 90s, essentially argues against the possibility of time travel to the past. According to Hawking, the laws of physics conspire to prevent time travel on any but microscopic scales. The universe, it seems, has an inbuilt defense mechanism against time paradoxes. But why does Hawking believe this? The answer lies in his concept of Hawking radiation. This is a theoretical prediction that black holes are not completely black, but emit small amounts of thermal radiation due to quantum effects near the event horizon. This radiation eventually causes black holes to lose mass and disappear. Now, what does this have to do with time travel? Well, some theories suggest that black holes could be used as a gateway for time travel. But if black holes are slowly evaporating due to Hawking radiation, then this gateway is not stable. It would collapse and possibly explode as soon as you tried to use it, making time travel to the past extremely unlikely, if not impossible. Well, that does sound like an interesting idea, using black holes for... Uh, time travel has that been used in a science fiction show i can't see like there seems to be something that might have done something with black holes and i don't mean the black hole movie by disney uh, you know disney when it used to be good um yeah i i it sounds like an interesting idea but i i can't think of where it might have been used i don't know Maybe we should make an AI movie uh, out of it. 
I know, I've been saying that about a lot of these ideas. While this might sound like a death knell for our time-traveling dreams, Hawking himself pointed out that his conjecture is still unproven. It's based on our current understanding of the laws of physics, which might... Okay, now that... <laughs> that looks a lot like... Well, not a lot like, but the, the idea behind this reminds me a lot of the uh, Doctor Who uh, opening, you know, with the swirls and stuff that we looked at earlier. Okay, well, maybe not exactly, but it just kind of seems like it. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I just need to watch Doctor Who again. Maybe this is just a part of me just saying, yeah, you know what? It's been a bit. It's been a bit since we had some good Doctor Who, so... <laughs> So, while Hawking's chronology protection conjecture might seem like a dream crusher, it's not the end of the road for time travel. In fact, it's just a signpost along the way, reminding us of the immense challenges we need to overcome to unlock the secrets of time. Welcome to the strange and fascinating world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, the theory that governs the tiny particles of our universe, can often seem like the wild west of physics. And in this Wild West, there's an idea that's particularly outlandish yet captivating, the many worlds interpretation. The many worlds interpretation is a hypothesis that suggests every time a quantum event happens, the universe splits. Each possible outcome of that event happens in a separate parallel universe. If you've ever pondered what life would be like if you'd made different choices, well, according to this interpretation, there's a universe out there where you did. Infinite universes, infinite possibilities. Now you might be wondering what does this have to do with time travel? Here's where things get a little complicated. If these parallel universes exist each with their own timeline, it could be theoretically possible to move from one universe to another. This wouldn't be time travel. Well, there's an interesting idea. So I guess like parallel Earths that are on, they're not in sync in regards to uh, time, like timeline A is in the year 2024 and reality B is in the year 1972 and traveling uh, from your time to that time that's an interesting idea so that would that kind of goes back to like maybe you go to a different reality when you're time traveling and whatever you affect there maybe that doesn't affect your world because your world is still going I mean, they may be onto something here. That kind of makes sense. Well, in the traditional sense, but rather a journey to a different universe where time might be ahead or behind our own. But before you start packing for a trip to a parallel universe, it's important to note that this is all purely theoretical. Even within quantum mechanics, the many worlds interpretation is highly controversial. It's a fascinating idea, but one that's currently beyond our ability to test or verify yet. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could test it here on this channel by doing a AI uh, video series um, about time travel between parallel worlds and how they're... Huh. I don't know. What do you think? It's an interesting idea. Are you into time travel? Maybe we should do... Uh, maybe start with a proof of concept with a, a trailer first? I don't know. It's this kind of audacious thinking that pushes the boundaries of our understanding. The many worlds interpretation challenges our intuitive understanding of reality and forces us to consider the possibility of a cosmos far stranger than anything we could imagine. So when it comes to time travel, the quantum world that's might not cool offer image. us a DeLorean or a TARDIS, but it does propose a concept <laughs> that's just as mind-bending. Yeah, TARDIS! In the Yay. many worlds of quantum mechanics, time travel takes on a whole new meaning. Time travel is not just about the science, it's also about the intriguing paradoxes and possibilities it presents. Let's dive into a couple of the most head-scratching conundrums that time travel proposes, starting with the infamous grandfather paradox. Imagine, if you will, that you journey back in time and through an unfortunate series of events, accidentally cause your grandfather's premature demise before your parent is born. This would seemingly erase your existence, but then, who traveled back in time to begin with? A mind-bending loop, isn't it? Well, not really, if that uh, theory of parallel worlds is true. Because if you, let's say you go back in time, you wind up going to a parallel world that is, you know, in that time frame. And, yeah, you might do, you know, you might do something where your grandfather dies. Well, 
in that timeline, that parallel world, yeah, you don't get born. But when you travel back to your time or your uh, plane of reality, it, it's the same world that you left. It. This is kind of like a combination of time travel and the uh, parallel uh, world travel that was in the show Sliders, which I thought started off really good. I love the concept of it when it started, and then it just went, I don't know where. <laughs> it... Uh, I don't know what they were thinking as they went along, but like the first season was great. I love the first season, and I think the second season uh, was good. And then it just, uh, I'm not sure what they were doing after that. Next, we have the bootstrap paradox, a scenario where Whoa. an object or piece of information. What the hell is that guy doing? I, he's like turning the pages with his hand. Uh, well, you know, like, like some type of magical thing going on there. Uh, I guess if you have magic like that, maybe you can just time travel without any device at all. And sent back in time becomes trapped within an infinite cause effect loop. Think of a book that you receive from a time traveler, which you then pass on to your younger self when you become the time traveler. The book has no point of creation. It just exists. You know, another time travel show that I liked was Timeless. Anyone remember that show? Uh, it had to do with uh, going through time or they were chasing after someone going through time that was changing history uh, to try to eliminate this uh, secret uh, not secret society but secret government called Rittenhouse it was a fascinating uh, series that didn't go beyond two seasons which is unfortunate because I think it had a lot of possibilities but it was an interesting series I gotta watch it again confounding right now let's delve into the possible consequences of time travel. Traveling to the past could potentially alter history in unpredictable ways, while journeying to the future might reveal a timeline that is not yet fixed and can be changed. The repercussions are vast and varied, from personal life-altering changes to large-scale impacts on civilization and the course of history. Speculative devices for time travel, like wormholes and time machines, are often featured in science fiction. Wormholes shortcuts through the fabric of space-time could theoretically allow for instantaneous travel between two points in time. Time machines, on the other hand, are often depicted as devices that can transport their occupants to a specific point in the past or future. While these concepts are fascinating, their practical implementation remains far beyond our current scientific understanding. The concept of time travel continues to baffle and fascinate us. Perhaps one day we'll unlock its mysteries. Until then, we can only imagine the possibilities. All right. Well, that's an interesting video um, when it comes to time travel. And it definitely had some interesting uh, uh, thoughts and theories. I really like the parallel world um, idea that each parallel world is a different uh, set on a different time period. But, you know, there are infinite uh, parallel worlds out there. So there are some that are uh, the same uh, time frame and some that are not. So I guess it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. And hey, if you got some ideas in regards to another AI type of documentary, let me know in the comments. And let me know if you think that idea of a, an, an AI uh, time travel series uh, is worth looking into. I don't know. I try to do different types of things on this channel, you know, kind of change things up, freshen it up so that way it's not the same stuff over and over again. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, notification bell, and all that other good stuff. I'll see you next time. Have a killer awesome day.